Good evening, I'm Jennifer Jellis. The oil industry is booming and with that rush comes environmental concerns. One Texas-based company is demonstrating a technology that would eliminate the need for oil pits, leaving one less mark on the environment. Nobody wants a bad pit that will damage the environment or attract birds and other animals. Those are the words of a Continental Resources production foreman who attended the recon presentation today. We've emptied pits and we've come back the same day, uh, next day and they're, they're full again. So the best thing to do with any, anything of a hazard like that is just to get rid of it. It's easier for us, it's, it's a lot better for the environment, uh, the, the landowners are happy. Recon is a company that is looking to change the face of oil activity in the Bakken through eliminating oil waste pits and containing that material for future use. I think the energy companies have a good grip on their environmental practices right now, but regulations continuously change no matter where you are. And I think our main goal is to help those energy companies, um, working as a team with them to keep keep in touch with those changes. After drilling takes place, there is leftover soil and rock that comes out of the ground. Instead of dropping that material into a pit, Recon wants to treat the rock to get the remaining oil and then recycle the rock to be used for other things. As you can see behind me, this equipment isn't very large. Recon has made it that way so that it can be easily moved from site to site. With the flooding of pits and wildlife problems, McGilvery predicts this is a move many companies will be making. The whole idea of, of, of waste management is to, is to not have a waste but have a resource that we can use for other things. And that's what we're shooting for and this is exactly the kind of technology technology, this and other things that are going on that I think that uh, us and other companies will probably be using. Recon is already working on a few sites in North Dakota and they plan on expanding that business in the state.